Welcome to your UA Light Celestial Insight. Hello, dear ones. I have felt the ancestors around powerfully this month, given that we start the first month of a seven year with the Cancer full moon, where the Capricorn sun was conjunct Mercury retrograde and Capricorn illuminating the Cancer moon, indicating the importance of going inward, but also going backward to reevaluate and connect with deep wisdom. Not only is Cancer the ruler of the 7th Arcana Chariot card in the Tarot, but Cancer is ruled by Mother Moon, which symbolizes your connection with the Great Mother and intuitive knowledges, while Capricorn is ruled by Saturn, associated with the Great Father, and mastering the 3D realm and materializing your legacy on Earth. In a natural chart, starting with the sign of Aries, Cancer falls on the south node, which actually signifies your past life wisdom and the wisdom of those from the afterlife, such as ancestors, while Capricorn falls on the north node in a natural chart, and where their opposition esoterically symbolizes the spiritual path of enlightenment and integration that entails all of us remembering, psychically accessing, and activating the DNA Lyco wisdom inside us from those who have come before us and putting that wisdom and knowledge to use to create a new world order and maybe even heaven on earth. So Watch these videos according to your sun, your moon, and south node sign. And take a look at your natal chart to see what zodiac signs uh, are associated with your sun, moon, and south node. It is no coincidence that we begin 2023, a numerological seven year, symbolized by the Cancer-ruled 7th Arcana Chariot card while Jupiter is in Aries, which is quite literally a transit that characterizes the energetic signature of the Chariot card, which means to go forward with gusto and confident determination, having access spiritual wisdom from spirit communication and integrated and mastered practical, and spiritual lessons. Now, I speak more about the significance of Jupiter and Aries, where I give astrology and oracle predictions of what sort of divine doors of destiny, opportunity, and spiritual growth may be in store for you for the next five months. So definitely check that out. But in checking out that video, you'll understand a bit more about the sort of energy signature of Jupiter and Aries and how it is quite literally a sort of <laughs> uh, energetic signature of the chariot card. There's also a collective astrology breakdown of the most recent Cancer full moon and the upcoming Aquarius new moon astrology for this month of January as well. So I also have a playlist below with ritual and psychic meditation support for your own deep diving and connecting with the other realms. But just know that the astrology truly conveys the esoteric urgency of the times and how it is time to pay attention to the signs and utilize ancestralism and support. And so that is the purpose of these readings here. What I will be doing is pulling cards to get information on what is your connection to the particular ancestors that come through, what sort of karmic cycle or current problem they are helping you to resolve for the year of 2023, and loving advice that they have for you for the year ahead as well. Hello dear Aries. So the cards here have really come together with a very clear and concise message um, of ancestor advice for you and that message is about 2023 being a year 
where you're going to be spiritually supported and activating your God power. Okay, so with these first few cards here um, related to who is this ancestor? What is your connection with them? Um, the ancestor showing up for you is someone who I'm sensing as a great indigenous elder from many generations away that you may have never met, actually, but who holds great spiritual power in the spirit realm. They're represented here by the magician card where they're holding a stick that says power. And then next to it here, we have the four of wands card. And that typically represents parents and grandparents that you may have known, right? Or who you do know. And it's quite removed from this masculine great elder. And so I'm getting that this was someone whose knowledge and hard work and, and seed, you know, was foundational to the family line, the family tree, um, where your family migrated and settled and, you know, um, laid roots and how they were able to make a living for themselves. I'm getting that it's possible you may not know this elder also because of the curtains in the background in this card and how far they are removed from the family in the cards, right? And to me, that's signaling that they are supporting you behind the scenes, right? But also because of the likeness that they see in you as the eccentric similarly gifted and chosen one in your family to break curses and limiting beliefs and ways of living as well someone who is also meant to sort of go your own way separate from the sort of normal status quo in your family and in your family tree right so this elder was and is someone who was spiritually wise, ambitious, um, even gifted in music and being a leader. There's a drum here in this card, um, but generally someone of great influence and whose influence and ancestral wisdom, characteristics, and traditions have literally been underutilized or not been tapped by the family for quite some time as later generations have not maybe been as ambitious and have become trapped in conservative and even limiting beliefs, right? Including religious beliefs, since we have the morality card here. Um, and I'm also getting that, you know, part of that is also them not leading active or healthy lifestyles, right? We have the nine of baskets here, which is associated with the nine of cups in the traditional uh, Rider Waite tarot. Here, it's given me the notion that, um, you know, your immediate family, like your parents, grandparents, and others that you, you do know in your lifetime, that they've been limited by things like poverty and even scarcity mindset, right? Which has manifested in things like, you know, external circumstances um, sort of playing a part in the particular kinds of limiting lifestyles that they have lived, um, indulgent behaviors in terms of like health and diet, um, and even them being judgmental, right? Um, in terms of social and cultural beliefs, right? And the thing about it is, you know, <laughs> one's own culture can, you know, the people within your own family and your own culture can actually, they're, they're the ones who typically are, you know, really judgmental and who hold you to particular kinds of insider standards, right? And so I'm getting that, um, you know, as a result, and like many people, you know, that your family, you know, has been disconnected from your more sort of indigenous and spiritual traditions and your ancestry, right? Um, maybe you're the most educated in your family. And in general, your family hasn't been as educated as you or access financial wealth or even traveled, right? Um, being limited to the same neighborhoods for generations and, you know, just health issues due to diet and circumstances and all of this, right? That's what I'm getting from this Nine of Cups. And it sort of mirrors the sort of advice and what we see here in the cards below about 
what is in store for you and your journey in 2023 and beyond where we see you here um, with the three of pentacles, the emperor, the six of wands, you know, walking into success and your sort of nine of cups and king of pentacles energy, right? You being the person who is going to um, get to access those kinds of things, right? Um, I clarified the messages, the cards that we got about who this ancestor might be, what might be your connection to them, and how might you recognize them, right? <laughs> and the cards that I got for it was, I got the Page of Wands reversed, the Emperor, and then the Judgment card reversed, and then the Five of Cups reversed. And in this deck that I'm using here, um, the Page of Wands reversed literally shows up as um, the Page being uh on being surrounded by these sides of the moon or these two moons right um and so it's literally saying you know that you you don't really know who this person is you don't really have knowledge of this person um but it is still a very clear message here that you are being protected you know by ancestors of the highest order and spiritual rank given that the emperor and then the judgment card in reverse showed up right so it's it's about this 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 sort of like lineage that you're a part of right where these ancestors of the highest order and spiritual rank in your in your family tree um and in your bloodline you being the sort of torchbearer, the course corrector, and the curse breaker, tapped into the pure God source energy that is outside of them, like them, where you also have so many talents and spiritual gifts like them, right? So you're showing up here, you know, as the magician and them seeing themselves in you, right and they are working behind the scenes to help you sort of activate your god power and to achieve all of your goals and to achieve this beautiful life right one without struggle where you are able to live a beautiful life in nature um, enjoying achievements and financial independence and prosperity and the beauty way of life that no one in your family was able to Right. And it's also this really clear message that you are spiritually and intellectually and creatively gifted enough to create new traditions and that you are supposed to. Right. And they are supporting you with doing things a different way. And this year in particular and going forward, they're going to be supporting you tapping back into your sense of confidence and personal power, free of the restrictions that you've endured. But their, their main advice with this, right, is for you to reframe your experiences and your sense of self-belief and self-worth so that you truly embody your God self and access your highest destiny timeline, right? And part of that is represented by the Beauty Way card here, the Mistakes card, um, this card that says Course Correct and Empower Yourself. And then also um, the Magic Making cards, you got the Spirit card, which talks about heavenly assistance from your angels and guides. And then also the Self Confidence card, just reconfirming and doubling up on this, emphasizing this saying strong self-belief and a sense of worth, right? And the beauty way is all about this. It's like when you recognize that everything is happening for you and not to you for the purpose of empowerment and not punishment, then you can take leaps of faith and you can really reclaim your power. You can go forward and humbly trust in your intellect your intuition and spiritual assistance to really resolve any problems um, and to create anything. And in that way, you can relax as well. And that is what the beauty way is. So I'm going to read for you what the mistakes card says. 
So the mistakes card says, if you feel you have made a mistake or indeed someone else has done so with impact on you, please do not feel bad about this. Treasure and value your mistakes and those of others around you. They are the cutting edge of our personal growth and evolution. Lean into the learning and celebrate your openness to growth, right? And the course correct card also says, if an obstacle or diversion has interrupted your plans, this card is here to assure you that delay is providential, bringing you an opportunity to pause and reassess in order to fine tune your direction. And so it's about you empowering yourself. And this says, empowerment does not mean that we have power over others. It means that we have power over ourselves. We honor our capacity for free will and conscious choice while honoring the same in others. And so this card asks you to evaluate your present situation and to take an ownership of your right to choose with a recognition of the entitlement of others to do the same. And the magician and the emperor cards are both associated with Aries and Magicians are often people who come from nothing and make something out of nothing, right? And with that sort of calling over your life that is sort of represented here, um, for instance, if you do come from poverty and are destined for great wealth and where you essentially are surrounded by so much toxicity and bad habits and bad patterns and not much of a sort of... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, possibility model. So I didn't want to say role model, but if you're someone that never had a possibility model, you know, related to um, your sort of deep internal sense of what was possible, right? <laughs> Based on what is around you, right? It's like it means that you then have a life of challenging experiences that gift you the lessons meant to accelerate your spiritual path and close the gap between where you are and your highest destiny where you're meant to be. And so you should see it as a gift, right? That your spirit team is not handing you something you can't handle, but also that they're not going to give you prosperity and all of these things that you're not equipped for and would just gamble, right? So you must be accountable and responsible. And of course, that's not easy, right? Um, it, cause, it can cause a breakdown unless and until you make it a breakthrough. And, you know, um, it can damage your self-belief and make you think something is wrong with you. It can damage the body and create so much loss, right? When really, it is about the universe forcing you to lose all liabilities internally and externally that threaten your long-term legacy and success and happiness, right? Um, related to this, I got a psychic message in the form of a song and the lyrics it's it's an old gospel song it's this joy that i have and it's like the world didn't give it the world can't take it away and when i was doing this reading those lyrics kept coming back you know, just kept playing in my head the world didn't give it the world can't take it away and that's something for you to like take as a message related to like your uniqueness, like your gifts, everything that you're here to do, everything that you are, everything that you bring to this world. And even in terms of like your, your external circumstances, like they are not a reflection of your power. They are not a reflection of your worth. They're not even a reflection of like your value and your true like royal nature. Like, the world didn't give it, the world can't take it away, even if it was something that you felt like you lost or you feel like your your external circumstances don't reflect 
your true worth, then yeah, like, like that's you knowing. <laughs> that's you knowing. And you just needing to commit to whatever is required to close the gap and to get what it is that you know that you deserve. Now, when this song came in, this is also a song that my mother used to sing all the time. And so this also came in as a really clear message here for you to forgive your mother. To forgive your mother. To do some rituals with some sunflowers and roses. You know, they're represented a lot in these cards. Um, but to do some rituals with some sunflowers and some roses. To forgive your mother. To heal your heart. To heal your sacral and your solar plexus chakras. If you look at this thunderbolt card here. It's got all those chakras lit up, okay? Those are all lit up. And, you know, there are some lessons on forgiveness that are here. Um, it's really clear that your sort of loving advice from your ancestors is to make peace with parting from people in your past and then to also forgive them. And just because their pain is understandable, it doesn't mean that their behavior is acceptable and you have to maintain or mend relationships. Especially things that you didn't break. Now there's, there's a little bit of a tension there, right? Because it's like your spiritual destiny is absolutely about healing all of these things. It's about healing them within you and for you. And then you going on and being the possibility model that's going to light the way for other people. But that don't mean you do their work for them. You got enough work to do. For you. Now there's also a very clear message here that you need to commit to a spiritual hygiene routine. That is full of cardio detox breath work to get every piece of trauma out of your body, mind, and spirit. I remember um, in the Jupiter and Aries uh, reading that I did for you all, um, there was a message that came through about your body being your temple. And you need to treat your body like your temple. So go and watch that reading and the other ones I got linked below. <laughs> but also, you know, take Take that message very seriously as it is showing up here too from your, your loving ancestors. I also got a message of the word came through in this lesson here about decoder. So it's, it's something about um, you decoding messages in nature, being loved by nature, and you needing to relocate to some place where you can be in nature and that be a part of how you stay aligned. In general, too, it's like lotus flowers, sunflowers, and dragonflies are here in the cards for you. And it's like those are symbolic of spiritual rebirth, physical shape-shifting, and having this strong connection to spiritual knowledge. And it also may be that these are ways that, you know, you get signs, intuitive messages, and synchronicities about your path forward this year. Okay. But yes, your spiritual team and God themselves, the goddess herself, right? It's helping you to cut toxic ties, habits, and more. And they want you to reframe your experiences and see that all things were put in your path to push you to your God power. Definitely the tarot cards here in terms of advice. The Three of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Six of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. It's, there's a lot here about um, you having to tap back into your masculine energy. Um, to really take action 
on building your dreams and your goals, right? Um, there's certainly a message here about you needing to go forward with any entrepreneurial goals and plans, right? And to be very, very selective if you do work with anyone, right? Um, your spiritual gifts, your prosperity, and a higher destiny, right, is not in the hands of man. Is also what I'm getting from those lyrics. The world didn't give it. The world can't take it away. And it's like those lyrics and these cards here is like, you have the ability to create a nine of cups life and a lot of wealth based on your unique star seed human design and this strong connection with the spirit realm, right? And so the ancestor advice in the cards is to definitely commit to your entrepreneurial projects and goals, being your own boss and building financial independence from something you build alone and where you are highly selective um, about the people who you work with, right? It isn't to say that you don't collaborate at all, but that you still make yourself your own boss and you select wise people who are not intimidated by you to you know work with you in in whatever capacity is necessary um to achieve your goals and your vision right and that's because this three of pentacles card it's it's a person who's walking you know with the carrying their own load by themselves right um and working to build this king of pentacles which is this really strong financially independent and wealthy uh, nine of cups life for themselves and related to that um we had an angel number come through for you that is going to round out this message for you um again your message in particular was about how not only are you connected to some really high-ranking spiritual elders in terms of ancestors, but also just have a strong spiritual connection to the etheric realm full of angels and other really strong spiritual beings and just direct access to God's source itself right and so we had an angel number message come through for you and that angel number is 747 okay so i'm gonna read this to you angel number 747 brings a message from your angels and your spirit team that you are on the right path in every way in your life you have worked hard achieved a great deal and are succeeding with your divine soul mission Call upon the angels for assistance. Call upon your spirit team for assistance whenever you feel the need and trust that you are being supported, encouraged, loved, and guided by the angels. Angel number 747 indicates that your strong connection with the angels has allowed for you to receive precise divine guidance. And in turn, you have taken the appropriate actions in your life. The angels offer you their congratulations and urge you to continue on your current path. Wow, this this is quite literally what this uh, bottom line of cards here really looks like, right? You walking into, <laughs> you, you know, being congratulated and rewarded and continuing on this path towards a really beautiful legacy. Okay, angel number 747 says, keep up the great work. Keep your thoughts positive and focused as they are having wonderful effects in your life. Your intuition has been strong and you have used your inner knowing and inner wisdom constructively and productively. Well done. 
This angel number also implies that if you are considering beginning or expanding a spiritually based career or practice or a service based venture or project, you may need to put in some hard work and dedication, but you will find long term rewards and benefits for yourself and for those whom you serve. That is so beautiful and so precisely and concisely reflected here in the cards all right i pray that this was a helpful message and that 2023 is an incredible year of you stepping into your power your god self and prosperity definitely take a look at all of the remaining messages linked in the description box. There is your Jupiter in Aries message, which I highly, highly recommend with some more spiritual advice and Oracle predictions for what 2023 has in store for you related to this Jupiter in Aries transit. And then there is also a psychic and meditation playlist full of resources for you to continue your deep dive and continuing to grow what is already a really strong spiritual connection for you all right dear aries definitely subscribe and come back for more